We introduced you to the Refugee Center in Twin Falls. Since 1980, it's helped thousands of refugees from all around the world get settled in this country. The center relies on volunteers and mentors to succeed in its mission. Those volunteers are the focus of my 6 o'clock report. And what is this country? U.S.C. Very good. Caroline Hall, who likes to go by Buddy, is just one of the many volunteers who help the refugees at the center in Twin Falls. What's especially interesting is that Buddy drives all the way from Idaho Falls to be an English teacher for refugees. She was motivated by seeing news coverage about them. And it just really touched my heart, and I uh, put it out there on Facebook. What's the best way that we can, we can really do something to help the refugees? And uh, a woman that I know from church sent me the suggestion, why don't you uh, start with the CSI refugee programs? This center processes 300 new refugees each year. From Afghanistan to the Congo to Nepal, they come from all over the world to escape persecution and danger in their home countries. And what is your last name? Okay, can you bring me your I-94 tomorrow? The people here help them learn how to assimilate into American society, and they help them find homes and jobs. Many are self-sufficient after a few months. What we did first is this exercise where I, I read him a word. Deck Waters is another volunteer. He's helping a man from Afghanistan who just recently arrived learn English. He's a retired engineer who decided about six years ago to help out here. He finds it rewarding and has enjoyed seeing how successful the program has been. We've seen how these folks have integrated uh, with uh, Twin Falls and become very productive, tax-paying citizens. Deck and Buddy feel their contributions here are about more than just teaching English. You know, even if I'm not the perfect teacher, I feel like, um, you know, I can express that I, that I care about these people and that they're welcome here. And I think, I think that has its own benefit. Now tonight on Local News 8 at 10, we'll talk with some of the refugees and see if they feel welcome in Twin Falls. And we'll talk with the center director about recent concerns as if any of these refugees could be dangerous.